Yo, what is going on guys? It is your boy video back on the Madden 18 today We're gonna go ahead and go over the best play in the formation I I just I wanted I wanted to give it some time before I just broke down this play But this is the best play in the formation the absolute bread and butter of the formation that you're gonna be running probably 90% of the time So we had to save it for a little bit later on the it's in the uh, gun split close pates obvious pats pats pates not 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 Patriots obviously the gun split close Patriots obviously offensive playbook um, It is the halfback wheel. So this play is incredibly incredibly glitchy let me give myself some more yards to work with here but seriously let me just say that this play is nasty dude ideally obviously what play is going to give us the most yards what read is going to be the x receiver the x receiver is obviously going to give us the most yards so that is ideally who we would like to hit that does not mean that we're going to blindly throw it to him every single time but it means that that who that's who we want to hit a man coverage that x receiver is going to slaughter every single it doesn't even matter what they come out in it does not matter man coverage will get slaughtered by that play or that read that x receiver or square if you're on the playstation will slaughter man coverage that's who we want to hit but we're okay with hitting other people our y receiver and our rb rb receiver are going to be our first reads um and then followed by our b and our a kind of at the same time so the adjustment i like to make for this play is just slant my b receiver and it's really really quick you could adjust it before you're even set while you're come while you break the huddle and you're 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 going towards the line of scrimmage all you gotta do is hit wire triangle b or circle and then left on the right stick and then you gotta slant it's your only route over the middle of the field uh right away at least you know you have the delayed x over the middle of the field over the deep part but that's a quick read that's an easy read to make especially if the if you hit the x receiver deep that's going to leave the b receiver open and you're just going to be able to slot them with that so that's what's cool as well um you're going to pull them away either that's really like their users gonna have to pick between b or x it's as simple as that and then the coverage adjustments they're going to have to pick between y rb or a because if they if they're going to cover a if they're going to use your a they're going to get slaughtered if i snap the ball i'm looking at rb and i'm looking at y at basically the same time then i'm looking over at b then i'm looking at x and then i'm looking at a but really if i see it's man coverage a lot of the times i'm looking away from y and rb almost immediately uh, depending on who they're manned up against i'm looking away from y and rb because that's going to be only if they're not uh only that's only if they're in a zone coverage and they're not shooting underneath is when y and rb are really good um but if they are if they're coming out in man i'm going to be looking over my slant or my a receiver or my x receiver i'm going to snap the ball and i'm going to see that it's zone coverage they're not uh they're not shaded underneath my y receiver is wide open once again just slant that b receiver this is going to be looking like this is definitely going to be man coverage um so i'm going to go ahead and snap this ball it's actually zone coverage i, I thought for sure it was going to be man um it looks like they showed bliss or something and brought the safety into the box but it was actually a cover three we're gonna go ahead and snap this ball once again zone coverage we're gonna hit our rb receiver over on this side uh they're not shading underneath so our flats are wide open we'll slant that b receiver we're gonna go ahead and snap the ball this time's man coverage bam hit our x receiver as soon as he breaks so the first time we get man coverage you guys can see when i snap the ball uh the flat routes are kind of open like i said it really just depends on who they're manned up against um you guys can see uh he gets a bad animation number 44 vic beasley gets a bad animation i'm opening the flats over here um but because it's man coverage a lot of the times i'm immediately looking away from it because that means that someone is someone deeper down the field is going to be open and odds are the man coverage is going to cover the flat route so i see he's a cover one hole which means this guy's going to be open as soon as he breaks but if i wait too long he's going to be covered so all i do is pass lead to the right as soon as he breaks you guys can see right there pass lead him over to the right he's wide open and a lot of times i'll possession catch there but i got it kind of aggressive and i racked it that's an easy easy completion for a huge chunk of yardage um, but if they're going to use her that, then we're going to be looking over at our slant. You guys can see slant literally wide open. We got tons of room to rack if we have to rack. So B is another applicable option. And A is another applicable option depending on uh, who your tight end is, whether they can run a route, um, all, all the above. So that's who you're looking at. Like I said, your X, your B and your A are going to be your man coverage route. Some of them will get open in zone, it just depends on the zone. We're gonna slant our B receiver again, we're gonna go ahead and snap this ball, like right here at man coverage again, as soon as our X receiver breaks, snap him, throw in the ball. So now I'm gonna show you guys different coverages against the play. I'm gonna come out once again in the halfback wheel, and I'm gonna show you guys what this play looks like in just a normal cover too. I'm gonna show you guys what you're gonna be looking for. Number two, the X route is going to be wide open over the middle of the field. I'm gonna show you guys that right here. So when we snap the ball, the middle of the field is going to be wide open open i just pass lead him up and slightly to the right and this is a touchdown 100 out of 100 times but just know that this play is absolutely killer against the cover two um also i guess it just it depends on which cover two it is but the slant can also questionably be open depending on what the user the a could also be open just just about anything can be open just depends on the adjustments that they actually make we'll go up against the cover three 
against the cover three if they don't shade underneath like i said and the same thing goes for cover four if they're not shading underneath we're gonna hit our rb and we're gonna hit our uh we're gonna hit them out of the flats every single time and we're going to like hitting them out of the flats because we're going to be able to rack for a ton of yards and get out of bounds if we want to get out of bounds like i said if they're not shading underneath that's who we're hitting like our rb our y our rb and our y are wide open every single time out of the backfield if they're not going to do that let's say they come out in a cover three and they do shade underneath so when they do shade underneath that means your flats are probably not going to be open see right here we pass it underneath we're not going to get much yardage and it can possibly be picked depending on the uh, on the defender that you're throwing it against so once again, we snap the ball, wheel route, intercept, that's a pick six every single time. So at that point, we need to shift our attention away from the Y and the RB. If we read a cover three and we snap the ball and we see they're shaded underneath, we're going to be looking away from that. We definitely don't want to be throwing that ball in a cover three. But what is open in the cover three is we got our X receiver open if they're not going to use it. If they do use it, then we're going to have our B receiver open underneath. If they shade underneath, we're going to have our A receiver open over on the sideline. So just about if as soon as they take one thing away, I'm just going to go ahead and give it to the next guy. This play is literally going to torch every single thing. It does not matter what they come up against. There is somebody open. It might only be for three or four yards. Sometimes the flats are only going to be open for three or four yards. Sometimes the slants only going to be open for three or four yards, but something will be open every single play for a couple yards. Just have to get used to the tight windows. Another thing I would like to cover out is what it looks like up against a cover one. So uh, you guys seen the cover one a couple times, but say for example, I have enough time in the pocket. You guys are going to see this is an easy one play touchdown if I have enough time in the pocket. A lot of the times I could roll out here, I pull a pass over to the right as soon as he passes up the safety, and as long as your man is fast enough, it's going to be a touchdown. Especially if they're going to come out in a cover zero man blitz, then you're going to absolutely annihilate them. See right there, we pass lead over to the right as soon as he passes up the safety. As soon as he's in line with the safety, he's got a little bit of a step on him. If we pass lead over to the right, bullet pass it, lob pass it, doesn't even matter. Um, you're going to absolutely torch them. It's going to be a touchdown. Finally, the cover four, which I'm going to have a little bit of trouble against, and you guys are going to understand why in a minute. We're going to come out in the cover four QB contains, since that's what people are running all the time. But against the cover four, it's going to be a little bit more difficult to make a read. If they're not shading underneath, obviously, same thing as the cover three. If they are not shading underneath, your RB and your Y receiver are going to be open, and you're going to be able to rack it for a lot a lot of yards so that's what we're doing if they're not shading underneath if they are shading underneath then what a lot of the times i like to do if i if i hit, pick up the tendency that they're going to keep shading underneath i'm going to smart route my x receiver especially on first and 10 i smart route him so he's going to be underneath the zones you guys are going to see here all i'm going to do is hit wire triangle x or square and then rb or r1 smart route him so he's going to cut after 10 yards and then he's going to be open sitting underneath the zones right there underneath the cover four he's going to be open that's only going to work if it's going to be first and 10 second and 10 third and 10 or fourth and 10 is the only time that's going to work only time he's going to sit underneath the zones like that is in that scenario and you're going to have to smart route him so keep that in mind another thing that's going to be open is your a receiver unfortunately i'm not able to shade underneath so it might not be as open but right there you guys can see a receiver's open as long as you pull it past it and uh pass lead him over to the right to, towards the sidelines he's going to be open it's as simple as that so you have to hit the people that are open right there uh he didn't shade underneath and he went to go play uh underneath after he bumped a leaving a open over the top Sometimes if they pull their user out, oh wow, we got bumped so bad right there. If they pull their user out of the way to cover something else, then your B receiver is going to be open underneath in the slant. At the end of the day, if they keep running cover four, just run the ball, man. What you audible to is perfect. And if you have anybody other than Tom Brady, they're going, if they're not putting up a QB spy, uh, then you're going to have the middle of the field to absolutely feast on. Like you guys can see right here, even with Tom Brady, I'm going to be able to scramble for like six, seven yards, you know, five to seven yards every single time. And I'm using Tom Brady. My man, Tom Brady is like the slowest quarterback literally in the game. Uh, right there, I kind of get bumped a little bit, but you guys get the point. That's all there is for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, go check out the other ones. Don't forget to comment and let me know that you guys enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe for more so you guys can see everything that I post and all the new schemes, all the videos that I'm going to post, especially in this because this playbook's amazing. This formation's amazing. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, like, you know, like I said, like on, uh, subscribe. Uh, yeah, and as always, peace.